This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I really appreciate you joining me today and this news comes from Birmingham and it involves three men that have been jailed for their involvement in an attempt to murder somebody. The conspiracy was revealed when Connor Palmer, Craig Miller and Elijah Stokes used EncroChat to communicate with somebody they owed money to in Dubai. The police said in the courtroom that this was a high-level drug dealer and he arranged for a man to be shot in Birmingham. And today they're facing lengthy sentences after being found guilty of the international plot. The story starts in May 2020 during lockdown. The victim's partner opened the door of their Sheldon home in Birmingham to find a man in a Tesco jacket wearing a high-vis vest. He said, was she expecting a delivery? And then said, he's here, isn't he? Before walking into the house and opening fire at the man. He was hit five times and taken to hospital where he was left fighting for his life but he survived. A young child was inside the house but thankfully was not injured. Birmingham Crown Court heard how Palmer and Miller and another man formed a group that was paid £100,000 by a high level drug dealer to kill their victim. The group then went on to subcontract the killing to somebody else and they paid him forty grand to carry out the hit. The gunman was never identified. Stokes arranged for the cart and gun to be delivered to the hitman and in the weeks after the attempted murder, the dealer told Miller he wanted somebody else to be shot. He sent a photo via EncroChat and said that's him, to which Miller replied, clips going in his head. The messages were found on EncroChat belonging to Palmer and EncroChat is the global network communication service that was used. The police alleged by criminals only, but this has been proven to be incorrect. A lot of celebrities and other people used EncroChat. It was just a way that a lot of criminals did communicate to talk about conspiracies. Don't forget to check out the playlist and the coverage of EncroChat since the minute it was broken and all of the cases that have come from it. Elijah Stokes, 38 years old from Elsdon, alongside Miller, 37 years old from Surrey and Palmer from Surrey also, were convicted of conspiracy to murder the man who was shot. Miller was found guilty of conspiracy to murder a second person, although that shooting never took place. Detective Inspector Gemma Curry said the messages were uncovered as part of the investigation and they make a truly chilling read. It's like something from a movie. It's a miracle the victim of the shooting survived. It was thanks to the EncroChat breakthrough that we were unable to ravel this conspiracy to murder. So another example of how EncroChat has proved to be solid evidence viewed in a court of law, no matter how many times people have been appealing it, there are still appeals ongoing as well. I really want to hear what people have to say on that story. And in some other news coming from Birmingham, and a topic that I've been covering on the channel for several years now, but this shows that it's become very popular, a man has been convicted for using a 3D printer to manufacture deadly weapons. David Portman has been jailed for five years following the discovery, which is the first of its kind, the police have said in a statement in the West Midlands. He was visited by police for a routine visit where he legally brought a blank firing pistol and 50 rounds of ammunition in December 2020. David Portman was visited by the police who passed the information on to the NCA and the National Firearms Targeting Centre. They were let in by a relative but David wasn't in. Police searched his room and found two assault rifles in the wardrobe. In an upstairs cupboard they found a 3D printer used to make the weapons and a cassette of print parts. An examination of the assault rifles revealed that they had been printed on the machine with still parts added later that could not be made with plastic. They examined Portman's devices and found that he had downloaded software and other files which included instructions from an anti-gun control organisation which allows people to print out the weapons. In the toolbox in his shed they found bullets, metal gun parts and other 3D printed plastic parts for weapons. Portman from Kitts Green pled guilty to two charges of manufacturing a firearm and was sentenced at Birmingham Crown Court today. This is the first time the police said in a statement that they recovered a 3D printed firearm in the West Midlands and this is a really significant time for us. We still don't know what he intended to do with the weapons and he told us he just had an interest in the mechanics of firearms. But the reality is these are deadly weapons that if they made their way to the streets could result in the death of innocent people. So this story is really interesting and shows how close because it was it was two years ago that students were being convicted for manufacturing very very basic crude 3d printed firearms and now we've seen two cases in quick succession where they are making very viable firearms that are submachine guns that could kill a lot of people and this is showing how dangerous this can actually be in the wrong hands
and five years for firearm possession, two firearms, is incredibly low. So he's very lucky or he gave up some sort of information. So I really want to hear what people have to say on these stories. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to follow me on social media as well at Scar City Studios. And visit the website at scarcitystudios.com.